Alexa Grasso versus Viviane Areujo. Alexa Grasso ranked right now number five in the UFC flyweight division. Three wins in a row, two unanimous decision victories over Jiyang Kim, Macy Barber, and in her last fight, pulled off first submission victory in her career. A striker, a boxer, known for her incredible finesse, standing up, landed her first rear naked choke and submission in her career. She really was called it out. She said that she was really trying to diversify her game, holding on her ground game, pulled it off, taking on the number seven ranked Viviane Araujo, who has won three out of her last four. In her last fight, fought the really tough Andrea KGB Lee was able to win that fight by unanimous decision. Also beat Matafari and De La Rosa, both by unanimous decision. Came up short against Caitlin Shukagian, ex-UFC title challenger. In UFC, so far, she's five and two, smashing Talita Bernardo in her first fight, and also beating Alexis Davis. Came out of some of the Brazilian leagues like Jungle Fight. She's seven years the elder of Grasso, who's born in 1993, 28 years old right now. Ara Ujo likes to stand and bang. She has incredible cardio. She can go well for three rounds. What we've seen so far, Alexa Grasso, ranked right now at number five, is in really good company in this division. Everybody's shooting for a title shot. First, the great champion, Valentina Shevchenko. Talita Santos, ranked one spot above Grasso, is getting the title shot. Shevchenko's already wrecked Jessica Andraj, Lauren Murphy, and Caitlin Shukagian, who are the top three in the division. This right here is an important battle. It's an important fight. If Grosso can get the victory, there's a good chance she can get a title shot. At this point in her career, it doesn't look like anybody else is really left, except for right now, Talita Santos. If Valentina Shevchenko wins that fight, there's a possibility that the winner of this fight could get a title shot. It depends what happens here. I think this is gonna be a three round fight. Some people say it's gonna be a five round fight. Not really sure right now if it's gonna be a main event. The implications are really high here for the winner of the fight. Grasso has 14 wins in her career, four knockouts, TKOs. Most of her wins are by decision. Nine of them in her career. It looks like Ara Ujo, before she came into the Ultimate Fighting Championship, was throwing bombs, landing submissions, like she did in the Talita Bernardo fight. She slowed down her game. Be weary, beware. She can go out there, slam her opponent. We've seen it earlier on in her career. There's a possibility there. She could just explode. This is gonna be a battle between two top flyweights. Alexa Grasso has good cardio as well. Both these women love to fight standing up on the ground. Who knows what could happen? I would give the advantage to Alexa Grasso.